Um, can you give me your first and last name? Can you spell it, please? Um, Claudia Hernandez. Okay, put the lower the microphone. Oh. Claudia Hernandez. Okay, can you spell it? C L A U D I A H E R N A N D E Z. Okay, you can look in here now. Um, we'll walk me through. You know, you have a lot of bullshit going on here. They're looking for a suspect. We'll, we'll go through your I mean, it's right. Well, it's scary because it's not the first time that happens, and you know, recently there's been you know things happening around the neighborhood. And it's just, I mean, normally we, we didn't see that before, but now we see it more often, so it's kind of scary. It, 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 and you said this is not the first time you know people run into there and just disappear. So yeah, actually no. I mean, they always run through. They, I don't know for some reason they always come to uh, 214 and they end up there, and then we don't know what happens after that. Obviously, this hits close to home. What are you? What kind of precautions are you taking for your family? Considering there's a there's a man, a dangerous person, running around this neighborhood. Well, I mean, we keep our, our windows and our you know doors locked, and 
you know, like I said before, I mean, it was pretty quiet, and recently it's been getting crazy, so we don't know. We don't know what to do. In terms of crazy, what kind of crime does it happen in all of these pursuits or any here or what? Pursuits, and then um, uh, what, maybe like uh, two weeks ago, maybe there was something, a couple of blocks, there was um, somebody that, in a mobile home, something, you know, something was going on, I don't know. It was so crazy. Was police activity, yeah. Yes. Well, earlier, maybe like when I got home from work, maybe like around seven ish, there was a helicopter was going. I don't know what was going on, but there was a helicopter. So I don't know. Event, you know, obviously something, you know, was going on. So yeah, I don't. We're, it's just you know, it's been getting to to be not safe. Feel like it's not safe anymore. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Can you give me your first and last name? Spell it. Ignacio Villalobos. Uh, you can say that. Oh, okay. Okay. You're good. You're good there. Okay. And just pretend the camera's not there, you can look at me. I'm sorry, what was your name? Ignacio Villalobos. You might spell it I-G-N-A-C-I-O-V-I-L-L-A-L-O-B-O-S. And you said you saw the pursuit, right? Correct, yes, we're all the way from Bellflower. From Bellflower? Right? Yes. Well, walk me through what, what goes in your mind when you see something like this. Well, it's just like pure excitement, just jumping up and down, you're just thrilled everywhere. Just trying to see, you know, trying to catch the driver and stuff. But. And then it ended, what, from lobster? What was that? What do you make of these scene all this commotion? It's just nothing but excitement, thrilling. It just gets my blood boiling and just starting just wanting to chase them and see what's going on. Uh, uh, and what is the crowd they saying about it? Yeah. Nothing, nothing much, just it, typical me. Is it a little scary that this guy is just running around or you know somewhere barricaded somewhere, you know? Yeah, it's it's a little bit scary because you don't know what what he got, what's he gonna do, or what's gonna be his next move after he got out of that car. So, really don't know what's gonna go on with him. Yeah. Anything else you wanna add? No, that's all. Just continue chasing these high speed pursuits, and that's it. Hopefully, they catch him. Yes. He can just look at me. Um, how fast did it look? He was going. I wanna say he was going pretty fast. Um. I did one blink and next thing you know, here he had passed us and then we couldn't catch him no more. He passed us big time with just one blink. And how did he look like? Were you able to see inside? Like uh, that car was just, we were still a little bit distance, I want to say a little bit down the block still. And we had just seen that car just fly right by us. And then we seen all the cops after it. Um, I want to say approximately, he was going, he was going anywhere between 70 to 80. When we saw him and that was going down Ward Lord. Before you we hit, um, before you hit Santa Fe. Can you give me your first and last name? Can you spell it, please? Uh, Marco. M A R C O. Freeman. F R E M A N. Oh, you saw the pursuit? Oh yeah, we was going to Wendy's. You know what I'm saying? We was going to Wendy's, going eastbound, and they was going westbound, down uh, South Street. And I just looked over and I was just seeing the police coming. I'm like, dang. But he had his lights off, so we couldn't see him. So he got in the gutter lane and just zoomed straight on. So we just followed the chase all the way here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we like the action. Well, I like the action. So, you know, I was just like, man. So we just followed on the freeway from the 91 to the 110 to the 405. Do you live in this area? No, I don't live in this area. I live in Long Beach. Oh, okay. And you saw the pursuit, right? Yeah, I saw the pursuit. Through your mind when you see someone going so fast, and, and you know, you're talking about even residential streets, I mean, which is not stressing out, but on surface streets, so fast, you know, what's through your mind? Man, I hope he don't hit nobody, man, because you know, that'll be messed up, like going that fast. He was going like at least 100, so going that fast, I hope he didn't hit nobody, you know what I'm saying? Because, man, I don't want no tragedy, I don't want to see none of that, no fire, nothing like that. But it was just like, man, it was so exciting. I just told my girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just follow it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's just follow it. So we just followed all around every city. And, and, and did you see it pass by you? Right past us. He was in a, I think, I think he was in a great like, truck. How fast did it look like he was going? He was going like 100. He was going 100 miles per hour, bro. Did you get to see him and then see the person inside? He had a hat on, that's all I seen. He had a hat on, because he had his lights off.
Okay, can we start with your first name, last name, and spelling? Ruben Galinato. Okay. R U B E N G A L I M A T O. Okay. All right, Ruben. Uh, what what happened tonight? Do you know what happened? You know what? I was just watching a high speed chase on TV, and all of a sudden I, I noticed that uh, they were in Carson Carson uh, area, mm -hmm. and so uh, at the same moment, uh, you know, we noticed. Uh, like uh, the familiar sheriff's deputy's uh, helicopter going across, and so when I looked out, I saw about four four helicopters, including the uh, sheriff's deputy helicopter, and uh, wow, they ended up uh, in the neighborhood. So how? So you live in the neighborhood? Uh, yes, I do. Got it. So how far away from this uh, the ending of this pursuit do you live? Like about uh, how far? Two blocks. Two blocks away. Wow. So did you hear the lights and sirens or did you just watch it on the news and see your block? I uh, didn't hear the lights and sirens, just heard the uh, sheriff's deputy's uh, helicopter. And then, uh, and then upon coming out to investigate, saw the rest of the news uh, copters flying up uh, high above. Got it. So I thought I'd come in and check it out and uh, looks like they got a perimeter set up. Yeah. Um, so does this stuff happen often around here in no, Carson? No, not at all. No, no. High speed chases? No. I mean, no. No, not often. Is this a pretty quiet neighborhood? Pretty quiet, yeah, yeah, for the most part. It sure is. Alright, All right, appreciate it, Ruben. Right on, thanks. Thanks a lot.